Second thing we need to look at is uh, the triangular prisms. People seem to have more difficulty with triangular prisms. You got to look at it, and again, every time you work with one, you got to try and write your own formula for it. If you were going to try and draw a net for this thing, essentially you would have you have three different sides like this one, right? There's there's this side, there's the other side of like I have tent the way it is, and then there's the base. If you look at it, all three of those sides are the same because you see these little marks here. What do those little marks mean? Those three little marks mean all three of them are the same. So if that's three, all of those are three. So if you're drawing it, basically what you have is I'm going to draw a rectangle that's nine this way. So we got six, nine, and then you got one, two, three that way. And I'm going to draw, actually, I'm going to draw the three of them separately first. Let's try again. Okay, there's one of them. There's two of them. There's three of them. Those are the three sides. You also have um, a couple triangles. Uh, we'll just draw them here. Three, three that way, and it looks like it's only about two point. It says two point six that way, so it looks something like that. And then this one is like this. You don't have to draw them to scale, but it might help you to draw the thing out like that. Helps. If you have to make a formula for this, if you're trying to make a formula for this, it's okay. Um, if you're trying to write a formula for this, I would start by labeling each of these. Which ones are the same here? Which ones are the same? Which ones are different? Which ones are the same? You guys aren't going to be able to pay attention until we deal with this, right? If you're trying to do this, think about how many of these sides are the same. Which sides there are the same? Are there any the same as this? Because this is all things you need to think about, right? That's this side right here, right? The front and then the, the back and then the base, right? All three of those are the same. So you all you need to do is um, do that once, right? I'm going to call that because, again, this is how the way I write it, but that's all area number one, right? The side of the thing, you have that. I'm going to say that my surface area formula here is I have three times as much as whatever area one is. And area one is just that yellow part, right? You have three of those rectangles that are three by nine. Each of those things, I think some of it's going to help if you actually write the numbers here. This is three. This is three. Those are all three, right? Three, three, three. Okay? And if you want to write them inside, it's fine too. But all of those are three. And then this is nine, and this is nine, right? It's nine all the way across there. So you got three rectangles that are three by nine. What about the triangles? How do you find the area of that triangle? How do you find the area of a triangle? If you have a triangle that's 3 this way and 2.6 high, because that's what it says. It says that is 2.6, and it says this is 3. So the area of that triangle is, if it were, if it were a rectangle, okay, if it were a rectangle like this, whoops, that's not going to work. Uh, if you had a rectangle that was 3 high like this, or 2.6, somewhere in here. But you don't, you have a triangle, right? You have this, that much. So you need the height that's 2.6 and the width that's 3. You have two of those things, though. So I would say plus 2 times area 2. Call this area 2 if you want. Okay, area 2. That triangle is... 2.6 times 3, right? The base times the height, 2.6 times 3. But if I just multiply 2.6 times 3, okay, if I just go this, di this distance times this distance, it's like I'm getting the area for a rectangle. But I don't want the area for a rectangle. I want the area for a triangle. The area of that triangle, this area here, is half that much. So I've got to divide it by 2, okay? That's the area of one of those ends. Okay, one of those ends that are, we'll do them in blue over here. That's the area of one of the ends. But we need two of them, so we're going to multiply it by two. Now you might say, well, I'm just going to do this then. If I'm dividing by two, but then I'm multiplying by two, I can just not do either one of those, right? You might just think, well, the two triangular ends create a rectangle together. The height times the width. If you want to do that, it's fine. You don't need to divide by 2 and then multiply by 2. 
but you should realize why. Anyways, and then the other side, the, the rectangles are just three times nine, right? Three centimeters times nine centimeters. It's a good idea to put your units in here, centimeters, so that you know which ones are measurements. It's easier for me to tell if I'm trying to figure out your work. It's easier for me to tell what each number is for if you put the units in for the measurements. Because then it's obvious that this three is four because there's three of them. Otherwise, it's hard to figure out if you don't put centimeters in there. If you work each of those out, this gives you 81 centimeters squared. That's all the yellow part together. Whoops, I guess I highlighted it wrong. Not blue, it should be yellow, right? If we're keeping it color coordinated with the picture. Okay, there's all of that. And then there's the two blue things, all of that. We got 81 when you work that out, 3 times 3 times 9. And then the other thing is going to be 2.6 times 3. What is that? Is that uh, 7.8, I think, centimeters squared. Is that right? Yes, no, maybe. If you add all that together, you get 88.8 .8 centimeters squared. Okay, that's the, that's the result. <laughs> You're working out the area of all the sides and adding them together. Try and draw the thing and then label the sides, figure it out. If you'd rather do your work by writing it right in the, in this, you can. You can draw the picture bigger and then you can say, this is 3 times 9, this is 3 times 9, this is 3 times 9. In there, there's not much space, but if you had it bigger, you could draw, write the work right in there as well. Instead of doing this, if you want, you come up with a... Well, you come up with a way of you come up with a way of doing it either way that you, however you want to present the work as long as it makes sense, as long as it's not just a bunch of scribbling like this, right? Three times nine equals twenty-seven times three equals eighty-one. Don't do that approach, okay? Don't just do a bunch of scribbling where it's hard to follow what you're doing. Draw the picture and label what the what the areas are, and then write a formula with those areas in it. When you go to do this question, I want you to try and do this right now if you haven't done it already because this one is different. Think about what's different about this. If you draw the net for, when we drew the net for this, there was three rectangles exactly the same because all these sides, three, 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 they're all the same. This one, think about whether all three of the rectangles are the same or not. You have to look at the measurements of the triangle. That's seven, that's seven. So the rectangle that's on the bottom and the rectangle that's on the back, are they the same? Those two are the same. What about this rectangle right here? Yeah. This one's the same? No. This is longer, so that's going to be that's going to be different, right? If you're trying to draw a net for this, I would unfold this part, the, the rectangular part. I'm going to draw that sideways across here. It's two down, but then we got one that's seven. Okay, we got another one that's seven. But the last one on the top here... It's almost 10, right? We could basically draw it from there. It's, I drew it a bit too big, but it's almost that big, right? 9.977. 7. And then you got to draw two triangles sticking off the sides. And the triangles need to be pretty big, right? Because the triangles are 7 by 7. Okay, let's move this. Move that up there. If I'm drawing a triangle for this, we need... We need a triangle that looks something like this, right? There's one triangle. There's another triangle, okay? That would fold up to, to give you that thing. You got five sides. If you want the, to, you got to figure out the area of the triangles. Area of a triangle, length times width divided by two, or base times height divided by two, whatever formula you're using. The responsibility is on you here to make sure you can do this, okay? You can try and follow something from what I've done up here. You can follow something from the textbook. You can work collaboratively with somebody. But you have you have to take the responsibility here to figure out how to work with surface area somehow, okay? I've given lots of, given you lots of different opportunities. You got to take a hold of at least one of those, right? And work with it. Can we get going on finishing this section? You need to finish this before you leave, okay? I got to see that it's done. If you find yourself getting off task, I think we have to resort to more serious and drastic measures like finding somewhere else for you to work. Okay? Is that clear?
there's too many people here who are just kind of not taking it very seriously. Okay, get to work.